Advantage Life Insurance. Take advantage of our low premiums. Um, hello there. I I would like I would like life insurance. Okay. Uh, first question I need to have is: Are you how old are you? I I'm around nine and a half. I was born on a leap year, so I don't know what that makes me exactly, but around nine and a half leap year years. Is your parents aware you'll be uh, buying life insurance today? Oh yes, they're very aware. They're very supportive of everything. Will they be able Will they be able to jump on the phone with me at any point? Oh uh, sure, just a second. Let me get him. Mother, I mean father, come over here. Hello, uh, I am I am his father. I want to come and talk to you about insurance. What do you What do you think, insurance wise? What's the best for my son? How much are you interested in covering your son for, sir? Um, he's he's very active. He's very uh he's very um he's outside a lot. I feel like I feel like he dies every other day. Um, he's outside in the Nether, which is very dangerous. Um, something that'll cover him, so we get a lot of money if he dies. Is there any medical problems that I need to be aware of? Uh, he he does. He eats a lot. I don't know if that's a medical problem. Uh, he eats probably around like eight or nine steak every couple hours. Uh, he's, he's, he's allergic to cactus. He can't step on cactus, otherwise he gets hurt. Uh, that's that's pretty much it, medical wise. Well, let me just ask this. I mean, I know he eats a lot, but does it show around his waist? Is he fat? Are you asking me if I, my kid is fat? I am. Uh, very much so. He's extremely overweight. Can you give me a number? A number seven. Oh, the number of his weight. Ow. Somewhere around 400 yes. pounds. And he's nine and a half. Oh, no, he's nine and a half on leap year. Oh, well, that makes it a lot different. And I don't really need to speak to the father. Can I speak to him again? Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll call him over. Son, come over here. <laughs> Do you smoke? Uh, no. I smoke cabbage. Does that count? No, sir, it does not. Okay, Nicotine good. Nicotine only. Do you chew tobacco? No, I also chew cabbage occasionally, like in salads. I don't know if that counts. That does not count. Okay. And you're looking at $500,000. 500,000 diamonds, you're correct. Would you like a rate that fluctuates every 10 years, or would you like something steady throughout your Let's life? fluctuate it. Let's, let's move it up and down. Let's do it. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. I think you're going to love this policy. What are you typing there? Yeah, are you typing a novel? I'm looking here for five hundred thousand. It costs you roughly two hundred fifty-four dollars a month. Two hundred fifty-four dollars a month. Now, what is that? Yes, what is that in return. diamonds? If I paid you in diamonds, what, what, how much would that be? Well, at least five. At least five diamonds. <laughs> Let's round it to four and a half. How about that? Depending on the quality, if there's any marks, I might accept that, but I'd, I would prefer cash. Are you also a jewelerist? You're, you're, you're. That's amazing. You are a man of many talents. You chew cabbage, I chew carrots. Good. <laughs> you have very good eyesight, I'm assuming. Very well. <laughs> I can see my, my eye is on the prize as we speak. Oh, yes. Is, is the eyes on more carrots? Is that it your prize be, is more it carrots? It can be. That, that's a pretty terrible yeah. prize, I must say. At Advantage, we take advantage of everybody we can. That's good. I like when people take advantage of me. Definitely. Now, are you okay with a little uh, blood test, a little urine test? Can you pee in a cup? Uh, I don't know. I spray like crazy, so I have no idea if I'll be able, able to even make it. The, the amount of cabbage I eat is really bad for my digestive system. So do you have, like, a bucket or something that I can use first, and you can, like, sift it, sift it out with some kind of, like, muzzle or nozzle or something? For $254, you can pee in a trough. I don't <laughs> care. <laughs> you got it. Bring the trough. <laughs> I'm basically a trough. sprinkler down there. Don't eat asparagus, and we'll be all right. No asparagus. What about cabbage? I eat lots, lots of that. I don't think cabbage will give you a problem. Okay. You what are, about you, there what is going to be no illegal substances, correct? Uh, is cabbage illegal? No. Then no. <laughs> and I want to get uh, insurance for my villagers. How many villagers are we talking about? I'm talking about maybe uh, nine to ten villagers. All right, nine to ten villagers, and do we have some ages? Ages, probably, uh, I don't know how long the world has been up, maybe a few months, six to eight months. But they're very mature, they're very old. You know, they walk around, they go, they trade, they can talk. Like, how old are you, sir? How old am I? I'm 37, but I look around 97. I did not, I did not treat myself well when I was younger. Okay, so, but now the villagers, if you're 37, they are? They are. Brown. And what is your insurable interest in these villagers? Uh, well, basically, uh, they are do trades and stuff, but the, the way they say, hmm, really annoys me, and sometimes I just want to kill them, and I want to be the beneficiary and get all the money. 
will you be able to have them sign the policy releasing them to allow you to be the owner of the policy? Uh, probably, but they don't really have arms. They kind of fold around like this. Uh, they're not very good with signing things, but they can probably go, huh, if that's good enough for you. Uh, I could accept that. Okay. As long as, are they coming to Texas with you? Oh, yes, they'll be in Texas also. I am at a loss of words, sir. I, I don't think I understand quite what we're trying to do here. You want to cover your villagers. Yes. Because you may be killing them. Am I getting this right? Exactly. And then you want to profit from that. Exactly. Have you run this by the local sheriff or anything? Uh, he says that I'm crazy. Yeah, I think you should call the sheriff and tell him you intend to murder the villagers and then tell him where you're at. Okay, sounds good. I'll tell him to bring handcuffs also. I think that might be best. Okay, thank you very much, sir. Thank you for your time. You bet. Okay, bye.